Welcome, welcome my friends, to the very first episode of The Life of the Land. The title of this show is inspired by the Hawaii state motto, Ua Mau Ke Ea O Ka Aina I Ka Pono. The life of the land is perpetuated in righteousness. And righteous indeed is what we all need to be to slay the climate change dragon. That's why each episode of this show will focus on a concept, solution, or issue that will help you become a climate warrior. The Life of the Land is brought to you by Spice.eco, where you'll find the Eco Card. Get eco and be climate positive. In today's show, we answer a very basic climate change question. Just how big is carbon dioxide? When we're talking about climate change, we're also talking about carbon dioxide, otherwise known as CO2. Why? Because it makes up about three quarters of global warming greenhouse gases. Now, people often refer to the weight of CO2 in terms of pounds or kilograms or metric tons. For example, take this comment from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. A typical passenger vehicle emits about 4.6 metric tons of carbon dioxide per year. But carbon dioxide is an invisible gas. So what does a metric ton of CO2 look like? How can we visualize the impact of an invisible gas? How big is CO2? Fortunately, we know the answer to this question. One metric ton of CO2, roughly 2,200 pounds, is about as big as a house. In the U.S., the average single-family home is about 2,600 square feet. That home with an eight-foot ceiling is just about the amount of space one metric ton of carbon dioxide occupies. Each year, the average person in the U.S. creates about 15 tons of carbon dioxide. To visualize that, each one of us creates enough CO2 to fill 15 houses every year. Now that's per person. Let's visualize the CO2 produced by the entire U.S. population. That amount is five gigatons. A gigaton is a billion tons, so that's five billion houses filled with carbon dioxide. There are about 80 million single-family homes in the U.S. So we generate enough carbon dioxide every year to fill more than 60 times the number of houses in the entire country. That's our first show. It was a gas, and I don't mean CO2. In our next show, we'll talk about how whales could be the biggest climate warriors of all. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, remember, Always be climate positive. <laughs>